why Loyal? What what prompted Neutrina and Cargill to come out with a line like this? Um, as we talked with our customers, uh, our ag retail customers, the people we're selling to today, we realized that um, they were frustrated with building brands of pet foods to see them go across the street and be sold in big box stores. Um, so in combination with uh, the products we were already selling them, we felt pet food would be a great fit to complement their line and give them, the, the, you know, the, the real, real driver behind Loyal was the exclusivity to our ag retail channel. Customers today really want peace of mind, uh, especially with the recent things in pet food. And OptiCook delivers the peace of mind that, that we're looking for for our customers. And then, you know, in a, in a July survey in your magazine, um, packaging still ranked number two when consumers talked about conveniences and importances. Mm -hmm. I remembered it was number two. Our packaging is, is easy open, reclosable, tear resistant, and, and water resistant. So um, those are the three things that probably set it apart from, from most others. It would be noteworthy to make um, in the interview anyway, how you guys use it. It's up to you. What, one of the advantages that we have is, you know, 80 years of, of you know, expertise and excellence in the animal nutrition business, the caring and feeding of animals has taken us to many countries and one of the countries where we currently have 15 plants already that we own and operate on the ground and with, the, with a purchasing system and a quality control system is China. Mm -hmm. And so we, um, we already had a, a supplier certification process going on and we just stepped it way up um, to include site visits from okay. our purchasing agents in China as well as testing of products um, from in a proprietary nature that Mark can talk a little bit about uh, to screen the products before they would even ever ship, um, leave the, the country of China to come in, and, and we've expanded that to, to you know all the countries where we have plants for importing ingredients from. So I think it gives a one of the advantages we have is being worldwide it, by nature. It allows us to kind of test qualify, certify suppliers um, in, a, in a global chain. And I think that adds a lot of food safety and, and safety to the sure. pet food line. I, I personally think that, that the, you, 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 don't, you can't separate the pet food industry as it relates to the recalls from the human food industry and, and, and things like BSE and, and uh, E. coli, et cetera. Pe I believe that people um, are going to be increasingly uh, aware or want to be increasingly aware of where their food originates from and how it's handled and how it's processed and the story that goes along with it. And I don't, and I don't believe in the long run that, that pet owners are going to be any different. Um, I think they're going to have an expectation that goes along with the, with the wholesomeness of the product and, and expect that that uh, it's originated and, and uh, handled and processed in a manner in which provides them a, a peace of mind and comfort when they buy the when they buy it and, I mean you guys no I mean as far as um, what do we feel a pet food industry I mean I'm excited about it I think it's a good growth business um, we think uh, we think the ag retail promise that we have is is a real exciting promise that that will help us. Um, as as Todd said, consumers are looking for peace of mind and convenience. We built that into this line, and think it'll it'll really be uh, it'll really be a, a winner. Hopefully, you've got the feeling now, the commitment behind Loyal and the pet food business from Neutrina and Cargill. Um, but I'm pretty excited about it.